In April, when Abdel Fattah al-Sisi became the first Egyptian president to visit Washington in almost a decade, U.S. President Donald Trump set aside the Egyptian government's human rights scandals to welcome its leader with fanfare and praise. That we are very much behind President al-Sisi. He's done a fantastic job in a very difficult situation. Just four months later, the U.S. says it's taking punitive action on Egypt, canceling $95.7 million in military and economic aid and withholding a further $195 million until Egypt shows progress in respecting civil liberties. A U.S. State Department official explained the decision Tuesday, stating U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has decided that it is in the interest of the United States to exercise a national security waiver. We remain concerned about Egypt's lack of progress in key areas, including human rights and the new NGO law. That law took effect in May and restricts non-governmental organizations in Egypt to developmental and social work. It also introduces jail terms of up to five years for noncompliance. Human rights activists say the law is part of Sisi's growing crackdown on dissent since seizing power in a military coup in 2013. A bipartisan group of U.S. senators echoed that concern in June, delivering a letter to Trump that states, under the leadership of President el-Sisi, the Egyptian government has systematically cracked down on civil society groups and independent media, jailed tens of thousands of political prisoners, and used violence and intimidation against individuals critical of the government. But Trump himself has not publicly criticized Egypt, instead calling Sisi his friend during a meeting in Riyadh in May. Sisi, in turn, praised Trump for being capable of doing the impossible. Given the cozy optics between the two, at the time, U.S. actions to punish Egypt had seemed improbable, if not impossible. And some policy experts say Tuesday's announcement to withhold nearly $200 million in U.S. aid to Egypt is merely an empty threat. Egypt can get the money in the future by meeting still unspecified conditions. Frankly, a much tougher consequence from the U.S. would have been an outright refusal from Secretary Tillerson to say, you haven't made these conditions, including on the NGO law, uh, and therefore we cannot move this money forward. Uh, we'll need to spend it elsewhere. Nevertheless, many human rights advocates say the U.S.'s actions, using dollars to condemn Egypt, are a step in the right direction. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.